How much can you pay for a house and have zero sex offenders living near you within a two mile radius? Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna research Megan's Law website that shows publicly uh, sex offenders living near you. Step two, we're gonna research several properties going up in value to see how many sex offenders we have to deal with at that price point. And step number three, we're gonna talk about what you can do living or close or near the sex offenders in your area. And we are predicting as the prices go up in the property value, we will see less and less uh, sex offenders living in the area. And we have guessed maybe you'll pay a roughly around $2 million um, to have zero sex offenders within a two mile radius. Uh, this is Irina, I'm Melina, we're Northern California property sisters. Let's get right into it. We have this first property that we're gonna be looking into on Megan's Law um, website. Um, First of all, Megan's Law is a public resource hmm. used by government to basically sync in with government records for you to see um, who lives in your neighborhood. So you can literally just type up on Google, Megan's Law map, hmm. and then it's gonna prompt you to enter your name, your last name, if you're looking for someone by name, or just enter the property address and look by radius. That's what we're gonna do. It's kind of freaky, so don't yes. panic. It, you may have some neighbors that are registered on there. Just watch out, get a tall glass of water, <laughs> and let's get into it. We okay. need to know what we're dealing with. So the first property we're gonna be looking at, give me something within an um, average home in Northern California. I mean, 450 about, yeah. that's about That's about median average for you know middle class, yeah. 450, 500. Okay, let's Okay, drum roll. <laughs> okay. Here we go. And <laughs> do you want to oh guess how many? <laughs> my. This is wild. Okay, so for this property in this, you know, middle class neighborhood, we're looking at 91 sex offenders living in that two mile radius of this property. That is, that is, that, that, this is the panic button. I need a, oh my gosh. I need a panic button. That, 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 and, blah, 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 a lot. And you're looking at these red dots, which indicate that they're actually in violation. So I'm clicking here, you can see that these individuals, and we're not gonna blur out their names, they are in violation of their parole. But check out these blue dots that indicate there are just registered and they're and living blue, there. Yeah, and it's it's history. Like it's history, it, they correct. have a history record, and they're gonna have that pin. I'm so glad it stakes with them because, Ooh. as a mom living in in my neighborhood, I want to know what's happening because wow. As a, as any parent, we all care about the safety of our kids, of the safety of our household. So it, I think it's really critical. It's a good resource. Um, also, if you're buying a house you should definitely research that as well because people research crime rates, but also not the immediate location around the house. So this is a great resource to mm -hmm. see what's happening around the specific house of interest. Don't panic, let's go up in price. Okay, okay give me the next property. It's gonna be, um, six. give me $650,000 home. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Oh, <laughs> 13. What? We went wow, from like 90 less. to 13. See, so our prediction was correct. As we yeah. go higher in price, I mean, this is only your second home, but it, it significantly minimized. Check this out. This is only $200,000 price up from yeah. 450 to 650. With the interest rate today, honestly, that's not even that, you know, yes, it is a significant maybe mortgage payment per month. But check out the difference. You know, you're looking at 13. You don't have any red, the, the no. violation parole. You don't have the, the, the dirty, dirty. Like right. the, the ones that you should be really, really looking out for. Um, well, I think the worst ones actually are yellow dots yellow. that indicate that they're actually sexual predators, which oh. is the worst. Like strike again. Strike, and, right. Yeah. Okay. Let's okay. go up. So let's go up a little bit more. We'll, we'll go, our next one is going to be 1.4 million. 1.4. Okay, I'm thinking maybe, maybe one. Maybe okay. one or two. Oh, oh wow. wow. It's actually more. So we're looking at nine sex offenders in the radius of two miles for property listed at 2.7. Wow. 2.7 million dollars. 2.7 million dollars and you have nine sex offenders registered. 
Yes. So this is actually going against our prediction. The higher uh, market value, uh, market value of a home, the less sex spreaders. It's not necessarily going okay. down. Well, my 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 thoughts are is that we're. I think it's also location varied. If True. as you're getting closer to maybe a specific city or center. You get more of them versus them going less out in acreage, the countryside. more population exactly. people. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Well, just for just let's keep going and check out the next house. The next house we have going on is a uh, seven point five. Let Let's just get a really expensive home and see if we can completely get rid of sex offenders on a map. I know, right? Wouldn't that be great? It's a whole new world. <laughs> Okay. Here Come we go. on, Irina. Show me something good. All Whoa. right. <laughs> I got good news for you. So it takes a seven point five million dollar house to get one sex offender in the two mile radius. That is just so unrealistic. You'll still have a neighbor within two miles of a home. Seven point five million dollar house. Seven point five say, million dollars. I have to say this is like highly unrealistic for. A standard middle class home buyer to buy this type of a property. Yeah, and standards still, like five hundred k in California. Right. I mean, it varies area to area, but you still have one person. Irina, we need to show our viewers. Give me a house that I don't care what the cost is. Show me zero sex okay. offenders. I'm show on me it. the house. Let's do it. Drum roll. Should okay. I get a drum roll? Okay. This is near a lake. You <laughs> I Okay, tell me about this property. We this have property zero is surround, it's like on a peninsula, so it's surrounded by water on all sides, on all three sides, and then it's probably bordered by forest. Wow. So it's a clean slate wow. in the middle of nowhere, but it's got zero sex offenders in the two mile radius of this property, which is and the price of this one is roughly about five million. Five million dollars yeah. so, in the middle of nowhere. So yeah, California. still, still very improbable for a standard homeowner to get Absolutely. this type of a house, but mm -hmm. it's it's possible and it's completely rare. Um, if that's a big thing of yours, then countryside is the only route for you to go if you're trying to find a property with zero sex offenders in a two mile radius. That's true. But yeah. if that's not an option, what can a standard homeowner do? What can we do? Like a family living in the suburbs, and it's inevitable. Inevitable. <laughs> Inevitable. <laughs> to live to live in the area inevitable. without sex. Right. To live in the area. Say inevitable. What you what she said. What she said. <laughs> to live in the area without sex offenders. So Oof. what can people do? Well, honestly, it's just all about being vigilant. Um, in my former career, uh, worked for for the government. Um, for a little bit and I actually uh, worked with a few people that had kids and um, guys that one of the guys that I spoke to mm -hmm. uh, he did some things around the neighborhood to really um, look out for his family and also give himself a peace Smart. of mind Smart. yeah so and they're very practical things I mean I would do something like if you if, first of all go on this website called Megan's Law website and see what you're working with. I mean, are they next door? Are they a couple houses down? And also they will, sh they will give you, provide you with a picture of what the person looks like. Which is great. Yeah, be, a, great. be the person um, at the grocery store. If somebody does a robbery or whatever, they print out the mugshot or the picture on the camera. And so it, it is in your face. Like you will recognize them if they're walking right past you. Yeah. And step number two is what? Listen, Second Amendment, baby. Arm yourself. <laughs> however, however, you can safely, if there are kids, yeah. you've got to be able to defend yourself and your family should something happen. So if it's what, like a pepper spray or a taser, I don't know, yeah. whatever it might be. No, honestly, ignorance is not a bliss if you In have case, small children. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't have kids, so I can be pretty ignorant and I don't I don't care. Um, I'm already armed anyway. So, but then also as you're walking, um, take strolls, uh, whether it's by yourself or with your family and pay attention to the houses that are marked or the people that you're seeing right. in the park. 
just just look for abnormalities like certain yeah. things that changed maybe the house that is on that list like see if there's like different curtains going up or blankets or something something out of ordinary it will stand out or like any a sore faces thumb. in the window yeah uh, i don't know mm, yeah <laughs> <laughs> But one. mainly don't stay quiet. This is not the, the not the thing to stay silent about. Yeah. Like you have to take action because they're usually um, are predators against mm -hmm. innocent and weak people like yeah. kids. That's right. You can't you can't play ignorance and you can't ignore the situation. Yes. Do your job. Be a good neighbor. Um, look out. You you can't really do anything by law. Like you're you're not gonna be buying a four point five million dollar house in the middle of nowhere with you know, two miles of acreage. Um, so yeah, I, I would say just pay attention, uh, educate yourself, uh, watch your kids. And that that's what you're doing. I mean, yeah, we looked at absolutely. your area, you're not immune from it. You no, know, we're not. And we are we're armed aware. as well. We do have, you know, our stuff to protect ourselves. Um, but just, just making sure other kids and other families should do something to also keep themselves protected. Yeah. Well, hopefully that helped. Um, thank you for liking and subscribing our channel. Yep. Um, we're going to continue to do a little bit of more of a serious topic as well. Some have some fun with it. Um, so Absolutely. yeah, thank you for going along with, on the journey with us. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye.